everybody. Welcome to the joy of cooking with Michelle. Welcome back. I hope you can see the counter really well. It's very colorful with all the different uh, vegetables. Um, I'm really glad that we are having this cooking show later in the day today because earlier I was shooting some video for my new online course and it was crazy. There's like jackhammers going off. Oh, it was so loud. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're doing some renovations on the wall adjacent to the pool, the underground pool. So um, I'm really glad that you're here to join me and I'm glad that it's nice and calm and peaceful and quiet. I have collected a lot of different vegetables we are making a summer salad today and this makes a salad that's about a kilo in weight and it's very easy it's a great idea to make when you have a lot of people company and uh, once you have everything chopped up all you have to do is assemble it so you can chop up a bunch of peppers and celery and cherry tomatoes and repurpose also your excess for even a garden salad. So it's great to have these types of foods available um, and pre-prepared to use for more than one recipe. So the recipe today has one can of black beans and the black beans are low sodium black beans and they're rinsed really well and drained. I also have a fantastic ingredient, kernel corn. And I'm using the frozen kernel corn. I've just thawed it at room temperature. It doesn't take very long. And peaches and cream, love it. So there's about two cups. It's almost equal amounts of black beans and kernel corn. Now, of course, you're welcome during corn season. You could use fresh corn if you wanted to, but you would have to cook it ahead of time. Um, I have, the other things that I have here, um, I have one cup of cherry tomatoes, and I have just have those. Everything else is basically in a half a cup quantity. I have red peppers, orange peppers chopped up already. I have half a cup of frozen edamame. I love edamame. Edamames are soybeans and it's one of my favorite things to buy. It's really high in protein and look for the shelled edamame frozen in your freezer section. It's really great to add to a lot of different things, especially salads. And I always think, what can I add to pump up the nutrition? So I look for a variety and that's key. I also love herbs. And this is one of my favorite recipes because I'm using about half a cup, a quarter of a cup to half a cup of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can use parsley if you want to also, um, or dill if you like. Any kind of fresh herb is lovely, chives. I also have half a cup of um, sweet onion chopped up. So another thing that's lovely is green onions. So if you don't have a sweet onion, instead of using a cooking onion, just use a couple green onions and chop those up. It makes it taste so garden fresh. And that's the whole idea of this. So now that we have everything, I'm going to show you, once we assemble everything into the bowl, how to make a really quick and easy salad dressing to go with this. So what I'm essentially gonna do is, I'm going to add the black beans, I'm going to add the corn, can see how easy this is and the peppers red peppers orange peppers celery love celery gives it a nice crunch I'm 
You can use cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Wow, this is getting really full already. I love using a bowl that's almost precisely the right size because when you do that and you add the salad dressing, you can sometimes turn it upside down to make sure that the salad's being dispersed nicely. And also, um, the, when the salad dressing's in the bottom, it's nice because it's covering a large uh, portion of the salad. Okay, I'm gonna add the onions next. And edamame. And then what do I need? The cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna give this a nice little stir first. Wow, you can see how full the bowl is getting. Just lovely. So colorful. I could call this my confetti salad. And the cherry tomatoes. I used a lot of cherry tomatoes. Oh, this is so good. And like I said, this makes about 10 servings. And so you can keep it, you can eat it for a couple of days. I mean, because it has the, the canned um, black beans in it, I wouldn't keep it really much longer than three days. And, um, oh, the cilantro, I'm gonna fold the cilantro in. It's one of my favorite herbs. I love using fresh herbs. So good, so high in the antioxidants. We don't think about the nutritional value of herbs, but we really should. I know I've spoken about herbs before in the past and their health benefits, amazing. I've decided this year in my garden, I'm going to grow some peas, beans, and probably some peppers like I did last year. They turned out beautifully. I just have a little raised patio garden. And um, the other thing I'm gonna do in pots, herbs, lots and lots of herbs. My chives have already come up from last year. There, that's really nice. Now, what I've done is I have one quarter of a cup of lime juice. I very easily am using one of these real limes. I think this is perfect. Um, of course, if you want to uh, squeeze a fresh lime, feel free to do that. I really like this though. And then I love to put it in my water also. So I have used a quarter of a cup of the lime juice. And what I'm going to do is I am going to use a tablespoon. Hmm. I had a tablespoon here a minute ago. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of white balsamic. And I'm going to put that in there. Love white balsamic. It's very smooth. And what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil in it. Now, if you prefer, you could just use straight up lime juice. I thought this would be nice. Um, so I'm just going to mix it up a little bit, whisk it. And this is actually the perfect amount of dressing to use for the summer salad. So delicious. And then I'm gonna give it a little toss again. And like I said, if you have a tight fitting lid, what you can do is just put the lid on really tight and rotate it. I love that. This is fantastic. There we go. This is actually a meal in itself. What you can do is serve it on a bed of lettuce and you know that you've got adequate protein because the edamame and the beans, the black beans, are really high in protein. Um, the, for the grains and the carbs, 
corn is really good source of carbohydrates and so are the beans as a matter of fact and with all the vegetables you have everything something from each of the food groups so health canada would be really happy with this and i am too i hope that you love this salad as much as i do make it your own if you don't like peppers don't use the peppers so there we go, enough to feed an army. A kilo of salad. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next week. Bye.